Welcome to today's episode of Rusty Duck Garage. Hey, today we got a 1994 Dodge Cummins Turbo Diesel uh, equipped with the 12 valve 5.9 with a manual transmission, a 5 speed, uh, I believe it's the MVG 4500. Uh, it's also the Laramie SLT. Like I say, it's a 1994. It was built in the first month of 94, so it's one of the early trucks. Uh, nearly 330,000 miles on it. Um, it's, it's equipped with an exhaust brake and somebody's put a, um, I'm going to say that somebody put a fuel stop plate in it the way it runs. It has a real lag, uh, turbo lag, uh, which I think is associated to the fuel, the AFC. So we're going to, in today's video, we're going to show you how to adjust, adjust that AFC so that uh, it doesn't have so much uh, turbo lag. Uh, the AFC kind of delays the throttle. Uh, so that it, for emissions, so you don't get any puffs of smoke out of it. Uh, but it's, it's got a serious lag, so we're gonna adjust that up today, show you how to do that here, and take a look at the exhaust brake, and just kind of go over around this whole truck and just show you the things I like about it and things that need repair on it, and go from there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give the truck a start. Uh, it's been sitting here, the battery's low, so hopefully it cranks right over. Uh, but if not, we'll get a jump on it. Battery's dead. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you some things I like about this truck. Um, it's a, mostly a pretty original truck, not really messed with a whole lot. Um, it's got, like I said, nearly 330,000 miles on it. And for the miles, it's in pretty good condition on it here and I'll, I'll walk around and and show you the uh, various things that's been added over the years on the truck and uh, the things i like and dislike about it but i think there's a lot more to like about it than dislike okay what do we dislike tag expired march of 21 that's okay we did some trading and uh whatnot with a friend ended up with the truck uh it's got a prime lock uh fuel filter system here on it uh, which is really, really nice. I don't know if you're familiar with these old 12 valves. The filter is normally down underneath, uh, below the pump down there, and it's just kind of a kind of a pain to get to to, to drain. And and uh, with the uh, light on them, a lot of times uh, they were pretty easily broken. Um, this is there's a battery box here is not bolted down properly, or the battery's not bolted down properly, um, and it looks like he's stacked on some accessories here, which I don't not crazy about um but uh it has a second battery over there and uh i don't believe that these had two batteries these are group 65s which uh normally in a ford diesel um and i believe these had uh, either 27 or 31 batteries originally or single battery i think could be wrong uh 1994 been a long time since i owned one of these trucks but <clears throat> this one here they also asked had a, a cummins e-brake back in the back there i've yet to hear it work um so i'm gonna have to look in to see why that's not working which uh hopefully isn't too big of a chore there but we'll find out the uh, yellow line there uh, looks like they've added a pyrometer uh, just before the turbo there and the exhaust on it um, i know it has a boost sensor gauge installed there so you can read the boost on it got good tires up front like i said it's the uh, laramie slt got some pretty nice tow mirrors for for an older truck um, power seat and for three hundred thirty thousand, i don't know if that's original seat i kind of have my suspicions that it is um, and you look at the seat and the pedals uh, very just really don't have much wear on them so i got a thing you know the truck was probably run up and down i-5 or some the uh, interstate regularly um otherwise we'd see a lot more wear of getting in and out and, and pedal wear then so who knows could have been a hot shot or something like that but it's pretty clean for that i'm not not sure they did that but it it uh 
I found some information there. It came from the Springfield, Oregon area, uh, which is only an hour and a half south of us here. So, and they've, uh, like I say, added a, a boost gauge there and a pyrometer on it. And you'll see uh, here in a little bit here, I'm gonna take for a drive. Um, and it just got some serious turbo lag, boost lag, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, you step on it, it just doesn't go until it finds that sweet spot and then it takes off. Um, so hopefully we can adjust that back off that AFC star wheel and get that get the thing to where to perform a little better. Uh, like say 329,976 miles there. Uh, equipped with the MFM cassette radio, uh, five speed trans, and it is the MVG. Uh, 3500 with 354 gears in it and it does have power windows and power door locks in it and a tray in the back uh, one of the things in 94 the dodges in 94 was a big change um, america had not seen a truck like this before uh, one of the things that they had was this huge center console there for contractors to put their notebook on and work off of and put it uh, inside and stuff and that was just that was something new in a pickup truck. Uh, so we got a 110 gallon fuel tank here in the back. Uh, I believe there's a, a transfer pump on it, although I haven't uh, found it yet or even found a switch for it. Uh, looks like there might be under the hood there. So we're gonna check that out and find out um, how that works there. The toolbox in the back, rear tires or uh, Toyos. Um, looks like these are running 235 85 r16 which is really a common tire back in the day uh narrow and tall uh, but it, it was a good tire worked good good uh, you can see the back of it here the truck is is not all beat up the bumper's nice and straight uh tailgate's reasonably straight i mean just a small ding in it there uh overall nice truck And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what the truck's worth. I'm thinking around $7,000 for it, uh, even though it's got high miles. It's just far, hard to find anything anymore at a reasonable price range. The other thing I really like about this little regular cab is the cab lights up there. I think they just, I really like them. Just, I think they stand out uh, pretty cool, uh, especially in the evenings, uh, night, whatnot. Again, uh, new tires on the front there. So we're going to take it for a drive here and we'll show you uh, what I'm talking about with that uh, turbo lag. All right, like I said, we just got this old truck. Um, I got it yesterday in a trade. Um, so getting a little kind of used to the controls and whatnot in the truck. Uh, but I had one of these old 94s with a 12 valve years ago. It's a great truck. Um, I got up around 200,000 miles on it. And that's back when they were, um, was relatively new wasn't new but relatively new and uh, man at 200,000 miles I thought this is a good time to get rid of that truck because they really didn't know how long they were going to last last so I sold that truck and uh, had a couple others uh, for a short time in between but none with the manual trans I sure like these uh, MVG 4500 trans, they just shift nice. Uh, it's quite a, quite a spread, spread on each gear, but it really does okay. This truck has a little sloppy steering, uh, which is not unusual on one of these, but we'll look we'll look into it and see why, it, why it's sloppy there. Um, one of the things you'll notice in these old 94s is they have the cup holders up high. And if you happen to have a road soda, you're going down the road you're advertising it pretty well we don't do that these days but there was a time when maybe we did uh, 
uh, the newer trucks, the uh, cup holders down here. Uh, okay, we're gonna turn the AC on in here. These, I don't know, 80 degrees or whatever it is here today. Uh, AC works in it. Power windows all work. Power door locks. Not a bad truck, like I say. We got the low fuel light on, so we're gonna try to get to town here and get some fuel. Hopefully, don't run out of fuel. We ran out of fuel in the old uh, C20 a week or so ago, <laughs> and it's a little further to town when you're walking than it is when you're driving. It seems like, but uh, hopefully, we make it. This old coming doesn't burn as much fuel as that uh, old C20 does, so like I say, hopefully we'll make her. On the way back, I'll uh, show you how this uh, turbo lag is. It's all downhill right now, and we need to conserve our fuel a little bit, so I won't be forcing on it until we uh, until we return and I'll uh, show you how the turbo lag and like I said before we're gonna adjust that AFC uh, I believe that's called the air fuel control uh, maybe name something else but that just makes sense to me uh, and a little star wall wheel there and it's basically there just for emissions reasons uh, which is not a bad thing but this has got some serious lag to it so we're gonna we're gonna make adjustments to that, make it look better, hopefully. Unless somebody's already been in there, but I highly doubt it, as bad as this one is. So, you know, surprisingly for a 3500 and a dually, this thing doesn't ride too bad. Kind of, we live up here on a hill, you can see in the some pretty tight turns so a little shifting like I say I think this truck was uh, used for a lot of highway use because the seat really doesn't show the wear of somebody getting in and out of it uh, with 330,000 miles on the pedals really don't show the wear I just can't believe that uh, uh, it was short trips. I think it was, like I say, highway miles on it. Did a little logging here on the left-hand side. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, here in Willamette Valley, we've got a pretty diverse amount of crops they grow here. These guys are growing grass seed here. Uh, that uh, seems to be real popular. It must be pretty profitable because uh, uh, these guys over here had marijuana growing in the fields a couple years ago and uh, they, they went back to the grass seed so they must pay better or something there. I'm not sure why. But uh, there's a lot of the grass seed farmers and they, they seem to stick to it with it so uh, it must be profitable or they wouldn't do it of course now we got a sign here that says detour ahead I don't really think we got a detour ahead on the floor 
more and it just the truck just doesn't go um, and then here about 1750 she just comes alive and then thing rips and the pyrometer jumps up there to I think we see 1200 there Well, we made it to the Chevron station to get some fuel here without running out. Like I say, low fuel lights on down the while they're here. And uh, <clears throat> the attendant just came over and said, they're out of fuel. Hmm. Well, it's about seven miles of town to the next station there um, in McMinnville. We can either go bum a little fuel off Cousin Paul or give her a go. I think we're going to give her a go here, so um, wish me luck. Okay, we uh, made it in here to get a little diesel, so we're here at the station. Hopefully they've got some diesel here, can uh, put about 50 bucks in her and give her a go there. Kind of like the old Dodge. All right, we're gonna show you what I'm talking about here on the AFC, on how we have a very uh, serious, uh, turbo lag on this truck here um, I'm gonna roll in the throttle here um, hit I'm gonna go uh, about the, let's see that be about 1300 rpm and just roll into it and watch how slow that it builds boost and how slow um, it, it takes off so full throttle at 1600 and there it takes off and then it goes uh, just takes forever so we're going to adjust that AFC housing uh, screw and uh, see if that takes care of that okay I'm on the floor with the throttle and I'm going to upgrade but it's just, it just dead okay I had to let off the corner it just doesn't build any boost there we'll uh, try her one more time here and here we are at 1750. Hey, we're gonna do a real quick adjustment here on our star wheel on our 1994 Dodge Cummins uh, 5.9 with a P-Series pump. This truck has got some really ser serious uh, turbo lag down low and we're hoping that uh, adjusting this will help that. I think somebody's been in there and messed with it before, so we're gonna try to adjust it back to screw off, see if we can't get that boost come up a little sooner. Okay, I don't know if you, you should be able to see the plug down there. Um, that goes in the top of the AFC housing on the pump. Uh, that takes an eight millimeter hex socket. 
Uh, five sixteenths is also very close. I've loosened this one already. It's pretty tight, uh, or was pretty tight, but I uh, got it loosened up here. And I'm uh, gonna spray a little brake cleaner around it, and so there won't get any dirt or anything in it. When we're replacing that thing, pulling it out of there. Yeah, I say when we get this out, we're gonna just take a screwdriver in there and uh, back that star wall off. Oh, a full turn, maybe two turns. See how that acts, and uh, if it helps, great. If not, we'll go the other direction. I think if you look close, you can see the star wheel down in there. Uh, we're gonna take our screwdriver from the top and back it off and see if that loosens it up. Okay, we made our first adjustment with the star wheel, star wheel on the 5.9 Cummins here. And yeah, it did not help. It actually went the other way. So we're gonna make an adjustment clear the other direction. We'll see how that works. All right, so we get, got our AFC star wheel adjusted, backed it off, loosened it up there. And uh, sorry about shaking. Um, it has made a world of difference. Uh, the drivability on the truck is just so much improved from where it was before. Uh, I'm really not sure why anybody would have put up with it as long as they did, but you'll see here, um, I think I did the test before, about 1500 and rolled in throttle, and it just had no no boost. Uh, now it just, the boost comes right up, and the truck just flat out moves out. And I wasn't after um, making a hot rod or, or uh, uh, make a black, low black smoke. Uh, however, it does a pretty good job of both those now. Uh, the smoke isn't bad, but it does a little bit there. So huge improvement uh, adjusting the star wheel. I believe it was adjusted the wrong way before by someone and left there. So huge improvement. Yeah, one more time here. Uh, you'll see here this thing just made a world of difference. Gauges aren't really mounted very solid, bounce around like a bobblehead doll. But uh, we're gonna roll into the throttle here at 1500. You can see the big difference on the way the boost climbs compared to what it did before. And the truck just really moves out. All right, that's it for today's video. We sure appreciate you watching. If you would hit that subscribe button, that like button, and we'll catch you next time at Rusty Duck Garage. Thank you.